Hi guys, we are back and doing a quick little short tutorial video on how to get the Scania, uh, it's not 140 is it, Scania 500 is it, R500 that I've been using in ETS at the minute. Hello again, right, I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. If I go, Right, so I'll do everything from the start. I jump on my channel. Uh, go to my videos. I'll find the link this way. I could do the other way. Uh, is that the one I did? First look on that mod, yep. In the description, scan your link. There's a the link to the mod there. my chat up on the phone just in case anyone jumped in the chat. Eager day lad, yeah man. I just thought I've had the, I've had a good handful of people asking me about this wagon and I just thought it's so much easier, I'll do a quick video. This is the main site that I always use. So just to show people the easiest way to get it, go on Google. I just type in ETS2 mods 1.37 and then I always go down and I go to this one that says mods.club click on that one and these are where all the mods I get afternoon Kyle, afternoon buddy so that mod I've just stuck in, I want to give that one a go a smoke mod so if you go on this one here and then click on trucks I'm not sure how far down this one's going to be now. That's a new one. Oh, I want to give that one a go as well. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this one's got a nice sound as well. So if we modify this one to this game, it should be quite good. So I'll do it down on this one and then obviously I'll download the other one as well. But this one I haven't got, so this would be the best way to show you actually. So it'd be the same method. So just below this you'll see mods.com download. Yeah, no worries, doghouse, cheers buddy. When it comes to downloading things, it is very, very complex. There's that many different sites and that many different things to do with. It gets quite frustrating. But the only bit of advice I can sort of give is if you click to download and it goes onto a different window, shut that window straight away. You're not getting the streams out today, buddy. <laughs> so click on that one, it's taking me to a different page, close that one again, click download again, nope, close it, click download again. Yeah, it should stick on that exact page, it shouldn't bring up another page. So, see, another page, nope, download that file, yes please, don't take me to another page, download that file, there you are, you see it down here, oh, it's downloaded twice now, but. Uh, get rid of that one. So you can see it down the bottom here. I think you should be able to see it downloading. Oh, yeah, I see it better like that. So that's now downloaded. If I click on that, it opens this window up. Ah, it opens this window up. That means that file does not need uh, extracting. So all you have to do for that file is, if you go into your downloads, just bring this window over. These are my downloads. If I go into downloads, that will be that one there. So what you need to do is, well, easiest way to do is grab that file, put it on your desktop there, get rid of all the clips out of the way, get rid of that out of the way. And then find then where your ETS folder is. That's normally in your document folder. Click on documents, ETS2. Open that up there. And then you'll see a little mods file there. These are where all my mods are. And all you do is drag, drag that over, drop it into your mods folder. And that's it, done. And like I showed before though, if I go back to the downloads folder, just to show both sides of things, this one has not this one you've got to extract it so if I double click on this one it'll bring up this page 
and this is WinZip. This is a free software that I use to do all my mods and things. So you see there, it looks like a different file, like a WinZip folder. Now it's actually been extracted. And same again, extract it, chuck it in the desktop, chuck that one in the mod folder. It's already in my mods folder, so I don't need to do that. So now when I open up ETS, I'll do it through checkbox, why not? This is exactly the same as just loading a PTS that you would normally. Still got the same music playing as well, just chill in the background, quite nice. <laughs> Come on, wakey wakey. There we go. There we go, so click OK. And then if you go into your mod manager, which is down here, you'll see it says new mods. Click on there. And there's a new mod there. So I'll double click on that one. And then the list here will see these are my mods that I've installed. my actual truck skin that someone made for me uh, these are things that doghouse has sent over to me for me to give them a go I haven't got that many mods installed really and that's the actual that's the picture you'll see for the truck and trailer so if I show you that one actually if I type in there S M O oh, S C H sorry so that's the picture you should get for the other mod the one that everyone's asking about installed now the only problem you will get sometimes as well is some mods conflict with each other so if I load up you make sure that you're on 1.37 as well I'll show you how to do that in a sec the top here top corner just double check what that says make sure it says 1.37 otherwise this mod will not work up that says you've added the mods installed blah, 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 there's mods missing just click yeah okay continue obviously if it doesn't load up you gotta go back to your mods and figure out that some mods don't like each other same as now possibly this mod won't like each other because I've got a few Scania mods all in one but we'll give it a go let it load up it's not on pro mod so it's not too bad I'm looking forward to when Pro Mods come to 1.37. If anyone's got any questions related mods or anything they've got questions about how to do on PCs, please, please, please leave it in the comment down below. If I don't know how to do it myself, I will find out how to do it and do a little quick video on it. Because this community is all about helping each other out. I know for a fact I've been sat by my computer for hours and hours and hours wasting time and I've had one phone call and I've been able to do it in a matter of seconds and it's really annoying and frustrating how easy it actually is. Hey, there's my, there's my Mercedes. There's my action mark, so now truck dealer. I'm not sure if I've got enough money to buy it yet. Yeah. Truck dealer and then you see on the left hand side you see the truck dealers. But if you go onto the right hand side you'll see access access mod dealer click on there and this is where all your mods will be or all your mod trucks best thing i could say to you when it comes to the mod side of things is give them time to load in and things don't try and rush and click and click and click because it'll crash the game sometimes it's quite frustrating just give them time to load in so that's the wagon everyone's been asking about like i was telling you it's £5,991 to buy new. That thing looks sick. Um, yeah, so it's ideal if you're doing the first player. So hopefully when I go into this next page, the new one I've just put in there should be down here. And there she is, 126000 If I click on her, click on customization. You can just purchase straight away, but I like to just have a quick nosy. So I can't customize anything there. This is obviously a standalone truck. So you get to here, you can change this, so you can go for, I'm not sure what the difference is there, I think one's got, oh, one's got retired and one hasn't. Interior, there's no steering wheel, that's nice. Oh, interior looks lovely. Can't change the interior, 
you can change the paint work. Like sometimes you can change things here though. Beacons, yes please. What we got there? I'll just put little lights in the window, so we go for that one there, cool. What's this? Oh that's inside I'll look at that in a sec. What's that one there? Wheels and things, I'm just gonna leave the wheels and things, but obviously you can change the wheels, change anything like that that you want. They're the same, they're the same, right, jump inside. Chuck a dice in, yeah, cool. Get some dice in it. Oh, the table looks nice with a couple of lollipops. Oh, those were the lollipop. Those were the them things. Oops, can't see. Those are these things here. All right, okay. So I just want an iPad on that. That'll do. Cool. Obviously, I've got the steering wheel turned off, but you can click on there, and there'll be different steering wheels on some of them, and you can put your little handles and things on. Nice looking scanner there, cheers game and order. Cool little mod, actually just found it, quite happy. Right, so I've done four pound initials, so this is 126,000. Hopefully I've got room in my garage to purchase. Got room in this garage? Yes, I'll chuck her in there. Chuck her along with my Mercedes and my old 143. And this one apparently has a trailer mod as well, so if I go back and back again, purchase a trailer, that's it there. What's the name of it? Uh, DQF Flower. If you'd go back in the middle a little bit, but yeah, I've literally just gone onto the website, found it myself, and then you can click on that one there to see what the wagon looks like in front of it. Obviously my wagon won't be pulling it, but yeah. Looks quite nice. Right, could get this trailer purchased. Obviously, you can modify the trailer as well. I'll purchase her. How much is she? 28 grand. Yeah, cool. I'll put her in the same garage as I've put the wagon. Devo, what are you doing, pal? I'm intrigued to see what this sounds like because I have not found one that sounds as nice as the HCN wagon yet. Obviously, there's a trailer for that other mod as well. She's 83,000 pounds bit expensive so right if I truck manage I, sh I haven't got a load of the minute so I should be able just to jump straight in so this is the mod that everyone was asking me about you get exactly the same as this do you have the sound of the do I have the sound of the 1.37 nope I've just literally put 1.37 in hopefully this scanner will have that one does definitely that one has open windows that one has all the sounds I've done a few videos with that truck it's stunning bit of kit and I remember for a fact this sounds really nice when you rev it up, but doesn't sound that nice when you're driving it. Used to. I haven't tried it yet since it's been upgraded. Upgraded. So we'll jump in here. Yes, please. Oh, I haven't got my truck shifter. <laughs> God, I have your truck shifter. This was going to be a quick video, but I really want to see what she sounds like. Let me just get this truck shifter on. Doesn't take me a sec. Cool, truck shift is on. Get that nice and tidy. Right, just for now, I'll just chuck the music off. Music gone, cool. Right, jump back into ETS. So here's a mod, looks really, really nice so far. Let's jump out and have a look on the outside. Oop. Ah, this might change. Yeah, I thought it would. Put it back on that camera. Go back a little bit more. Right, start her up, see what she sounds like. Ignition on. Handbrake on. Ah, oh, no, she sounds boring. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, it can do. Oh, that's so disappointing. Can you open the windows? Ah, 
gosh, this is such a shame she doesn't sound nice. Unless, I'll just double check, unless one of my sound mods is configuring, is interrupting it, which I don't think it would do. Just double check. I'm sure the old version, that one sounded really nice. Let me just take all my sound mods out quickly. I don't think I've got any sound mods in. Take it back on that video. Yeah, no, he's dead. Uh, no, I haven't got any sound mods in. So, yeah, that's what she sounds like. Oh, that's so disappointing. Let's see if I can actually put a sound mod in then. A lot of mods? No, not really, pal. What have I got? My old profile had about 300 odd mods in it. This has got about 20, I think. I try to keep it to bare minimum just in case something messes up, then you can't bring the mods in. Right, sounds. Uh, so, scan your crackle. Scan your open pipe. Scan your crackle. See if that makes a difference. I'll actually check the show smoke mod quickly as well while I'm here. Yeah, I think. I can't remember how much did Mark count to. Has he got something like 600 or something daft? Bare minimum is two. <laughs> You gotta have a couple of mods in there, haven't you? Right, let's see if this changes the sound of that truck. And I'll just. Have I got RGL built in there? I can't remember if I put RGL trucks in yet. I'd like to see if the smoke mod works anyway, quickly. I was gonna do it off stream, so I might as well do it on stream. As long as the mods don't mind each other, it's okay. But as soon as you get two mods that play up to each other, it's a nightmare. Game seems very quiet for me as well. Hang on a sec. Is it quiet here? No, no, you can actually hear. That's fine. Right, let's see if she sounds any different after I put a mod in. Nah, no different. Ah, oh, shame man, shame. So if I compare her to the actual one, I can hear an echo as well. Uh oh, does that mean my OBS has stopped? Oh no. Don't know why I can hear an echo. Ah, because I started my stream up on this. No, I didn't. Hmm. Oh well. I won't be on for much longer. Track management. Right, just jumping on the does sound nice. Try that one. Yes. So we actually follow exactly the same steps, but instead of downloading that mod I've just tried now, you download this current one that I've got. You're going to change camera for a sec. Yeah, that's how she should sound. Right, and there she is. I'll just, for anyone that doesn't want to go back to my previous video, go down there, copy that link. Right, I'll chuck the link in the chat right now. That should be in the chat. And I'll tell you what I can do. I'll actually chuck it in the description as well.
I could do this off stream, but I'll leave you a sec. And the mod link is in there as well. If anyone's got any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, that old ding-dang do me. Can't think of anything else on ETS that I wanted to show. Let me just see if I can sell that other wagon. No, that guy's running in. Probably in Liverpool tonight. No, we didn't. Ah, there she is. Why not? S oh, hang on, I don't want to sell a garage. Sorry, trip management. My bad. So she lose that one there. Sell. Speed. I do want to check out the trucking uh, thing about the the smoke mod quickly as well. So that part, uh, the part of the video, the tutorial part's over. I'm just having a little mess about now. I'm fairly sure it doesn't work with a mod, so I'm actually going to have to buy. It doesn't work with mod trucks. This mod, so I'm going to have to buy a normal truck. Oh, she's crashed. <laughs> right, that'll do me. So I'll, do, I'll finish the stream there, and I'll have a little dabble by myself. So yeah, there's a quick tutorial. Am I on anything later? Uh, quite possibly, buddy. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure what the crack is. We shall see how we go on. Might be on Call of Duty, actually. Yeah, good chat. I might be on Call of Duty with a couple of my pals. Some two Welsh buddies again. One that likes to say some stories. And just again, to finish the video off, if you don't see that picture, it's not the right mod. There's the link there. And just remember, once you click the link, click download, it'll bring up another window, close that window straight away, it'll download on exactly the same window, don't let it open up another window. Free download, click there and it'll download it for you. Right gents, that'll do me. Thank you very much for joining me. Like I said, a quick, quick tutorial. I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.